But I think that the basic attitude towards the AI revolution should be one of that avoids the extremes mm -hmm. of either being terrified mm -hmm. that AI is coming and will destroy all of us, but also to avoid the extreme of being overconfident that, oh, AI, it will improve medicine and it will improve education, it will create a, a good world. Mm. We need a middle path of, first of all, simply understanding the magnitude of the change mm. we are facing. That all the previous revolutions in history pale in comparison with this revolution, because again, throughout history, every time we invent something, so we still have human beings making all the decisions. So for instance, in the financial system, I just recently read an article in Wired about an AI that created a religion and wrote a holy book of the new religion, and also created or helped to spread a new cryptocurrency, and it now has, in theory, $40 million, this AI. Now, what happens? if AIs start to have money, start to have money of their own and the ability to make decisions about how to use it, if they start investing money in the stock exchange. So suddenly, to understand what is happening in the financial system, you need to understand not just the ideas of human beings, you also need to understand the ideas of AI. And AI can create ideas which will be unintelligible to us. The horses could not understand the human ideas about money. So I can sell you a horse for money. The horse doesn't understand what is happening because the horse doesn't understand money. The same thing might happen now, but we will be like the horses. The horses and elephants, they cannot understand the human political system or the human financial system that controls their destiny, that the decisions about our lives will be made by a network of highly intelligent AIs that we simply can't understand.